Oh, hey, everybody. Sorry, just using an ice pack because I, you know, just got punched in the face by Facebook. Hey, welcome back to During Business Hours. Today, I want to talk to you a bit, uh, I would say a bit about a scam that's running, that's super prevalent on Facebook. I use Facebook for the occasional chit-chat with people that are only uh, doing business on Facebook or only accessible through Facebook. Now, the fun part is when you catch something for sale, occasionally I'll browse Marketplace. Get a couple of phones, laptops, some equipment. Uh, got a 90-inch sink the other day that was primo pricing. You occasionally catch a good deal. The problem is, is when you catch the scammers that are really good at their fucking job. Now, the fun part was I first found this Hannah's Co-op on Facebook Marketplace, and I'll throw that up right here. Hannah's Co-op had 30 ratings and reviews. Perfectly fine. Everything was great. Didn't contact them. I just bought the item. It was a $525 Sony A6400 for this beautiful podcast. I was looking for this camera. As soon as it got posted, it was $600 under spec and cost. So, being me, I'm a fix-it guy. If it's broken, I can repair it. If it's broken to a point where I can't repair it, then Bezos helps me out. If you don't know a Bezos plan, get on board. Point being, there's always a way to make that work or get it replaced, even if you have the unit. So, for me, it was more convenient to just pay it, wait for the shipping, you got purchase protection. As long as it says by Facebook you got purchase protection, you're solid. You know, my credit card, worst case scenario, I'll have to do a charge back. Great, great reviews. Looks like it was an established seller. Click buy, wait for it to ship. Nobody asked me any questions. Looks like it was marked as shipped the next day. Three days go by. Don't see anything. I'm like, okay, let me check on the shipping. Lo and behold, it says it's due two days from then. So I'm like, all right, great. I'll watch out for it. Comes up to my store two days later, and I'm like, hey, you know, my uh, device is out for delivery. Everyone keep an eye out. Looks like UPS is going to be stopping by a little bit early today. If they have a personal, for some reason, they go before two. Well, at 109 in the afternoon, it was marked delivered. I hadn't seen UPS that day. So we had a issue a couple of weeks previous where FedEx was delivering to the insurance company that's two doors down so i go down there and they're dicks so i've definitely said hey you have my package i want my package back it's a 500 dollars camera so i'm trying to incentivize them to return it in case they sign for it but it said signed l love which is so weird because my wife's leslie i'm christopher and it was only to carmichael on the tracking it doesn't say anything else it doesn't say the address doesn't have signature delivered or signature required um, confirmation. It only says that it was front, uh, what was it, front reception or front office. Um, so I call UPS freaking out like, oh, fuck, I'm going to have to deal with this. I already accept worst case scenario. They scam me immediately. I accept worst case scenario. That's how I work. So from there, I decide, well, fuck it. Uh, I'm going to look into the purchase protection. And so as I'm doing that and I'm waiting for UPS to take my call, UPS tells me, well, your name's not on this package, sir. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? It's my credit card that paid for it. My name is on the, the shipping label, says Facebook. No, sir, your name's not on the package. Okay, well, that's a problem because I'm the one who bought it. What do you mean my name's not on the package? Well, I can't give you that information, sir, because it's not your name. Okay, so what can you give me? I can give you the first four digits of the shipping address, 2179 instead of 7330. So I'm like, all right, yeah, they scammed us. They're doing a ship scam. Purchase protection will cover me. Lo and behold, they got to wait four days since it's marked as delivered. Tell me why I got to wait four fucking days for this person to run off and cash my money. So the moment it's marked delivered, the posting is deleted. Looks like the account is deleted. 
I can't even access Hannah's co-op anymore. Nothing about the account is there anymore, which is blasphemous. Um, so I'm thinking to myself, nah, Facebook will take care of it. So I wait the three days, patient, diligent, as always. I'm like, hmm. Yet again, there is nothing that Facebook can do because it's marked as delivered. So I asked Facebook in a long screen recording, basically, what am I supposed to do when I've already verified the information you need to do? Well, you need to wait, sir, until our claim is done. So I go to Facebook to make a claim after the three days, leave a review, scam, etc. That's the only thing I can do. So from there, I start my correspondence with Facebook. Just so you know, in case you're listening, how delicately I tried to handle this because it is a large amount of money without blowing a fucking lid over a course of four days. Finally, I get a message. Very two-tone, standard. Nothing fancy whatsoever. So I decide... The next day, I'm going to copy and paste the same I want to open a claim. Here it is. Except... I need help with the purchase I made but never received. All already contacted the seller, no reply, which leads me to believe it's a clear scam. Contacted UPS, the evidence the seller shipped to the wrong address and wrong name. I finally get a response a couple hours later. Hello, I specialize in assistance with orders and make payments on Marketplace. If you're referring to order 6316, correct? I say I sent numerous messages last night and yesterday. Would you like me to copy and paste them? Please give me a moment to pull this up and take a look. So I declare all my information yet again. Item shows delivered, etc. Here's what it is. Your open claim option was open. They immediately closed it before I sent this message. That's right. So I opened a claim because it finally popped up. They immediately closed it. Now, the first thing he says is he read through the messages. He sees that the order shows delivered, but I haven't received it. Unfortunately, I can't personally issue a refund due to the ticket price of the item, but I've already escalated the refund request for you, and you should receive correspondence once there is more information as well as an email if and when the order is refunded for you coming or for you confirming such. I apologize for the frustration that this has caused you. Please let me know if there's anything else to assist you with today. It's as simple as connecting with UPS to find out the truth, I said. Will they be able to do that? It's quite a large sum of money. I'm concerned with how you guys just closed the claim immediately. I'd never seen someone say, okay, open a claim. You've waited three days. And then said, go fuck off within 30 seconds. Is it because it's such a high amount Facebook doesn't want to get involved? They already promised purchase protection. I have screenshots of it. I don't buy things without verifying and then having evidence of the verification. So when they said yes, I said, okay, let's screenshot it. Here's the item I bought. Here's how much. Here's my invoice. Purchase protection engaged. So I thought, problem being, he says he included all the information provided to escalation. Also, sometimes claims will show closed, but they have not actually been worked yet. I apologize. I said, if you attached all the information I had sent last night and previous days, or should I send those again explaining everything in detail? He said, he had everything included. They will have access to more tools than we do in the chat. What's the difference? I said, should I look out for a call or an email? Just want to make sure I don't miss anything. We do not call, he said. You will receive correspondence via email or support inbox to find your support inbox, etc. Here we go. I said, thanks. My pleasure. Have a great day. I said, is my claim still going on? Email stating you closed it without a reason. Hey, Christopher, not taking messages right now. I checked again the next day. Two days later, every time check status of claim. 
Hey, Christopher, we're unable to respond to messages right now. If you have questions about Facebook Marketplace, please visit our help center. So I go to your fucking help center, Facebook. And every time I go to your help center, it leads me in one giant fucking circle. No matter what I do, I click here, click there, redirected to front page. Click here, click there, redirected to front page. Does not matter. You're a fucking joke. I hope one day somebody at Facebook comes up and says, you know, we intentionally fucked people over just so they know we were in control. Like sometimes you got to slap them on the ass and wake them up. It's unfortunate, but these assholes have all the power. It's a, it's a, I can write it off as a, as a loss, of course, it'll come right off my taxes, but I I ended up buying a a ZV one, you know, a couple of days after spent, 1500 bucks got the camera I wanted so it has an outcome luckily Best Buy had one and they are hot commodities right now I'm telling you got everything I wanted just need to get this fucking refund processed because the problem being as my wife tried to tell me just charge it back well I have various businesses on here that I deal with through my meta account my meta business suite and all of them have paid advertisements so I do one charge back all of those five businesses, five accounts, even if I took them out of my name, my cards are all linked to those accounts. It'd be much more of a hassle than just writing off $525 before tax and shipping. I think it was close to five seventy. but boy, that's a lesson. That's the last time I'm buying from somebody who I don't message first. It is definitely an experience, I will say, trying to deal with these fuckers when there is a problem because nobody, A, nobody is available in your time zone. B, nobody gives a shit about your money. C, they're making minimum fucking wage on the other end of this line. Your problems are not their problems. So I get that. But this Hannah Co-op, I don't know if maybe I should take up the, the scam shipping because as smooth as this transaction was originally, and it was smooth, it was just as smooth to put somebody else's name and send it to a different direction, different address in the same county, and then close out like to the minute, the moment I could email, the moment I could review to close those things out. Good job. Person probably is going to get away with the money. I'm not expecting Facebook to do jack shit about this. What I am expecting is to learn a lesson from it and move on, as I do with most things. It was I was salty when I was calling UPS. I'm like, come on, motherfuckers, give me the information. That's the only thing that truly pissed me off, where I wanted to reach through the phone and tell UPS, just give me the fucking information. But for some reason, they can't give me the information, even if I have a purchase order. America. Hmm. I find that to be a little unorthodox that they would not give me the information for what I needed that I have all the proof to be the owner of. You know what I mean? So I let everybody know. I was like, hmm, here's the way this works. Here's what's going on. Stay away from Facebook for all your marketplace needs. Uh, Meet in person. I know people are very concerned. If you are concerned with safety, as most Americans are right now, you can buy a gun. Just go through the background check. As I'm going to say, that's a whole other story. But basically, Facebook, I will update the story as more comes out. But Facebook is on the hook for the 500 and X amount of dollars that they have processed towards the seller of an obvious scam without backing their purchase protection. Um, So I'm on Reddit and I notice there are various people, various people who are going through a similar thing and still haven't gotten their money back with three months on their ticket. I got an email 
saying it was closed immediately. That was the fastest service because I had just opened the claim. I think it may, you know, it could be the the size of the amount. It's a little unorthodox for purchases on Facebook, but there are items that are fifty, sixty thousand dollars that I would want some guaranteed protection for. Um, if I ever bought those through Facebook, because they are available, things I do buy that are very expensive are available on Facebook Marketplace. So if I wanted to do that, I could do that. Spend sixty grand a day just. Choo, choo, choo. I wonder if Facebook has ever actually had to back up any of their transactions or if they do, or if they're just full of shit. So anyone, if you've had an issue, reach out to me. I got them on Twitter sounding off. Of course, see if anyone else jumps in and lets us know their drama, their problems with the Facebook scam. Uh, The Hannah's co-op has disappeared off of Facebook, even though they have this, claim against them now so it's the equivalent of anyone who sells on ebay if you bought something on ebay opened a return or a claim against the seller and then them being able to delete their account before any debits or transactions they could do that it's smart for them to do that on something that they can't afford to get returned or they genuinely scammed you on And if they're able to do that, that's the problem because why aren't the funds on hold? Why isn't Facebook like, oh, verification, timing, et cetera. If you're not a verified seller, maybe the 30 reviews they had was the thing. They're just waiting for some poor schmuck to be in a hurry and be like, yeah, I want to, I want to get that steal of a deal. Dumbass me trusted the system. I get that, but I won't make that mistake twice. I had contemplated ending it right there, but that's how you learn, though. So that'll be it for today. I'll update as more goes on. Check out for the stories. I'll probably drop some updates in the stories, in the the Instagram, probably in the tweets as well. If I get some fucking email that tells me, hey, dear Christopher, we have reviewed the case and here is your outcome. Either dog shit or less dog shit. Have a great day. I will update all of you. The less dog shit method. Probably sing from the rooftops because I've written the money off. So, All right, everyone. Have a good one. Peace.